In today's video I want to show you how to install Arc Linux chroot in your Android device. Remember that for chroot you will need root permissions. So the first thing to do as always is go into my repository and go to the chroot section. As you can see I have added the Arc Linux part, so click on it. And I recommend you take a look at everything before doing the first part. So let's go to the first steps. You need to check that you have your device rooted and you will need the VCBox Magix extension. So from this we are going to copy the first commands and we are going to paste them into Thermux. This will take a bit, but when everything finishes we can start preparing our environment. So the first thing to do is we are going to access the super user terminal. This is the reason why we need root and we are going to download the rootfs file system for Arc Linux. So you can copy the commands and this will download directly in the path slash data slash local slash tmp the files that we need as you can see now we need to uncompress the file so you can follow my guide just copy and paste the commands and this will uncompress everything in a new folder so as you can see we are in a folder called chroot arc and we can delete the whole file after we delete the rootfs file system we can just check that everything is fine. We have the folder called root arc and inside this folder we need to create a couple of them. So as you can see we have the root arc and we are going to navigate into that folder. Now we are going to copy the following commands and we are going to create the folders called media, media slash sdcard and dev slash shm. So after this we are going to start doing some configuration. First, we are going to create the file called resolve.conf and here inside bin type A, just the letter A. So we enter the edit mode. Now we are going to copy and paste the commands and now we are going to press Ctrl C and write the following letters, two points, WQ. With that, we can exit the file that we have just created with bin. Now we are going to move that file into the respective folder in etc slash resolve.conf and you can check that everything is fine with the command cat. So you can see that the content is the one that we have just pasted. We are going to repeat the process with a file called host. So again, in the ch root arc folder, we are going to create a file called host, type A to enter the edit mode and copy the content. We can just copy it and now control C and write two points WQ. With that, we can save the file. Now we are going to move the file into the corresponding folder so just copy and paste the command and check that everything is fine with the command cat as you can see the content is the one that we have just pasted now we are going to create the star script that we are going to use to mount the file system and going into the arc linux ch root environment as you can see copy and paste and here type a to enter the edit mode we are going to copy all these lines and paste them into the file you can take a look at them and try to understand them, but basically we are mounting the root file system. Now we are going to give permissions to execute the file and we are going to execute it. So when you execute this script, you can see that the prompt changes and now it says root at localhost. This means that we are inside the Arc Linux file system. You can see that you can type commands and you are going to execute everything inside Arc Linux. But first we need to do some modification. The first thing is modifying the pacman config. So we need to edit a line. You can type Ctrl W to look for a certain words on a file. And we are going to comment delete this line. Ctrl O and Ctrl X to save an exit. And now we need to initialize the pacman keys. Pacman in Arc Linux is the package manager. So we are going to use pacman to install mostly everything. So we need to execute these commands and now we can start updating the system. But before this, we are going to modify the mirror list. So we are going to use the mirrors that are near our location. In my case, I am based in Spain, so I will try to look for some mirror in Spain or a place that is near Spain. You can see that you have all the lists, but in my case for Spain or Madrid, there is no mirror so i will use berlin for example so you can uncomment this line ctrl o and ctrl x and you will save and exit this now 
just give some permissions to the root user so we need to create a couple of groups and add root to that groups after this we are going to be able to update and upgrade the system so copy these lines and paste them this will update all the repositories upgrade all the packages and then we are going to install some basic tool like sudo net tools and things like that you can check that when you try to install something you can see how much space this occupy so check that everything is fine and for example we have just installed net tool so we can use the command if config which gives you your ip address finally to be able to execute the graphical desktop we need to create a new user in my case i'm going to create a new user called droid master but you can change this you can just copy and paste this and you will see that we have to type a password two times for the new user after this we are going to give that user sudo permissions so we need to edit the slash etc slash sudo files modify with nano for example and now we are going to look for this line for root and we are going to copy and paste the same line changing the user but you can copy just the line from my repository Control o and Control x to save the file and the changes and exit and to check that everything is fine we need to move to the user that we have just created and check that we can execute sudo commands for example sudo who am I? and you should see root as the output of the command now i will show you how to modify some configuration so we don't have problems with weird characters and things like that so we are going to modify the local.gen file you can look for your own language in my case i will look for the us standard language so we can uncomment the line where we can see this you can look for n us and uncomment this line Control o and Control x to save an exit and now we are going to execute another command so you can copy it from my repository but it's sudo local.gen and this will take a few seconds now in this part of the video i have an error but i have updated the repository so you don't have it but when we modify the slash etc slash local.conf we need to place a line you can see that we have lang equals c you can delete this line and copy the one from my repository as I say this line that you are seeing right now is wrong, it's not correct, but you will have the correct line. Anyway, I want to show you how I fix this, so in case you have any problem with the languages, I can show you how to fix that. Now we are going to install the packages that we are going to use for the graphical desktop. As always, I prefer using XFC4 because it's a very light desktop, but you can install other desktop like KDE try genome try i don't know several ones so after the process finishes now we're going to modify the start script so instead of logging to the command line we are going to execute the command to start the graphical desktop so i recommend you restarting thermos so we have everything unmounted and we can modify the start script without any problem so first we need to access the super user terminal navigate to the folder where we have the chroot environment and here we have the script we are going to modify that so you can use b and go to the last line comment this line remember that to write something you need to type a for example and now we are going to paste the line from the repository if you change the name of the user instead of droid master you have to place your own username remember that copy the line paste it into Thermux and we are going to save the file and exit. So press Ctrl C and write two points WQ as you can see right now in the bottom part. Click enter and now when we execute the start script we are going to start directly the graphical desktop. You can see that the first line is commented and the second one is not the last line that we have just added. To finish, we are going to download a script and we are going to use this new script to start the graphical environment in Arch Linux. So just copy all the commands and paste it into Thermux and Thermux X11 will automatically be open. Now you can see that you can just start using Arch Linux and install any packages with Pacman. For example, we can install NeoFetch with the command that you are seeing right now. And always remember that you need to run the pacman commands with sudo. I always forgot about this. 
you can see that we are inside Arch Linux. Now I want to show you how to customize the environment. Remember that you have a very complete video on XSC for customization on the channel. But I will show you the process I did in Arch Linux CS2 run environment. The first thing I like to do is installing some web browser. You can install Chromium or Firefox as you wish. But I think I really prefer Firefox in CH rule environment because Chromium tends to throw some errors while you are navigating. Here I show you how to add a shortcut for any application, for example Chromium, as because we are inside CH root, we don't need to add the no sandbox tag as we do in P root. I want to show you that I had an error when launching Chromium and how I fix it. So remember that in set root environments, it's better to restart Thermos from the background apps. So we have everything unmounted and we are going to modify the start script. Basically, we are going to the slash dev slash sh aim part and we are going to create the folder because I don't know why this folder seems that it's not properly mounted or something. So just add the line that you saw. Remember to exit with two points wq. And now we can execute the start xrc 4 chroot arc script. This will launch Thermus XC11 with everything that you need. And you can see that you have the environment. And if you click on the Chromium icon, you will have everything working. Now I will look for my repository. So we can continue with the process, but inside the Arc Linux part. Remember that if you have any problem, you can join Discord or Telegram groups. And there is a very beautiful community that can help you with that. And this is the problem that I mentioned before that Chromium throw. So this is why I think I prefer just Firefox. But I want to show you how to install, for example, an airphone. So we are going to the Debian CH root environment and we are going to follow the steps to install an airphone. So you can see that you can copy this line. But this will throw a couple of errors because we need to install some packages. You can disable this prompt from the terminal so it won't appear anymore. But you can see that we need to install first unzip and wget. I will execute the command again so you can see that we are missing unzip. And you will see the message in the bottom part when everything downloads that unzip command not found. So you can install with pacman. Remember to execute it as sudo, I always forgot it. And when everything finishes, you can just execute the command again and the nerfone should be installed without any problem. As you can see, if you type ls, you will see all the fonts that you have just installed and you can check the path we are. So now we are going to customize the terminal a bit. So we are going to do it with Starship. This is my preferred method because it's very fast and you can customize it as you like. So copy the command to install Starship in the terminal. Just copy and paste it. Click on Y. Click enter. And here check where it says bash because this is the terminal we are using. So copy this line and we are going to paste this into the bash RC file. So just type CD and then nano and the dot bash RC file. Go to the last part of the file and paste the line. Control O and Control X to save and exit. And you can see that we have these weird characters. If you did the local part fine, as I updated the repository, you shouldn't see that weird characters. But I will show you how to fix it later. We are going to install anything that you like in the, in the terminal. So copy and paste the command from your selected theme. And you can see that we have this weird character. So we are going to try to fix this. In this moment, I got tired of the errors from Chromium. So I installed Firefox with the command that you saw. And I added the direct link to the bottom panel. You can see that you can add any new shortcut that you want. Adding a new launcher, selecting the launcher. You can drag and drop to the place you want. And look for the application. In this case, Firefox. In my case, Firefox didn't throw any error, so this is working way better than Chromium. Now you can see that if we type local A, we can see that local that we have just installed and we can execute local gen to try to generate the files that we need. But this didn't fix the problem. What we need to do is modify this file. I again repeat that I 
modify the repository so you shouldn't have this error and here you can paste what you are seeing right now with the dot in the middle now we need to restart the environment so close everything close everything even from the background apps and now we are going to start again the arc linux environment so execute the start script as you can see right now and when everything restart you should see that we have now all the icons without any weird characters now we can continue customizing this a bit for example installing lsd and we are going to create a new alias to use lsd instead of ls if you don't know lsd just is the same as ls but with some icons next to the folders and the files with this i will say that the basic configuration of the terminal is done but later in the video i will show you how to install a new color palette but first i want to show you how to install some themes and some icons i repeat you that you can check the xrc customization video and you can see how to customize a lot of things but i will do the basic configuration here so first i like the orkis jtk theme you can select the version that you want in my case i like the purple versions and once the file is downloaded we need to uncompress the file and move the output to the corresponding folder so first uncompress with the command you saw you can delete the original file because we don't need it anymore with the command rm and the name of the file and now we need to create a couple of folders so first go to the home folder and here create the dot themes and dot icons now we are going to move all the folders to the dot themes so we have everything in place now you can apply the theme by going to the settings configuration and going to appearance here you can select the version of the theme that we have just installed in my case i like dark theme so i will select the dark version remember also to go to the window manager settings and apply the same theme here so you can select any other if you like it or you prefer it but i like to be consistent so i will go to the orchids part and select the one that i like after this what we are going to install is some icon themes so i like to go to the rating tab and select the one that you like the most i will select this tela icon theme and again we need to uncompress the file you can delete the original file because we don't need it anymore and we are going to move the output folders from the uncompression to the dot icon folders that we have just created before as you can see now we need to go to the same appearance settings as we have just done before but we need to go to the icons tab and select the one that we have just installed so now what is missing is changing the background so you can look for any background on the internet i will show you this one for example you can copy the url from the image and i'm going to create a images folder so i can place all the backgrounds here or everything you want and go to the desktop desktop settings now we need to select the images folder that we have just created and once here you can select all the backgrounds that you want also one thing i want to show you is how to change this part because i don't like it so i prefer changing this to buttons and now i'm going to rename it so if you rename it to just numbers letters or very short text i think this is way better and occupy a lot less space in the top panel finally to finish with the customization i want to show you how to install a color palette in the terminal so you can look for xc4 terminal color palette on google and you can try to look for a lot of them but i will install the nordic palette so you can just copy and clone this repository with the command git clone and the url that you can have from the green button on any github repository and go into that folder here you can see that we have an install script so you can just execute it and now in the preferences of the terminal you can see that here now appears nordic so you can apply this directly and you have everything configured and to finish with the video i want to show you a bit of hardware acceleration on a CH root environment this apply to any CH root environment like debian arc linux or whatever but as you can see in this star script we are initializing the bridger server so if you initialize it it on any distro that you want you can execute any program with hardware acceleration 
So we are going to use this command. First, we are going to install glmarch2. This is just for testing that we can use hardware acceleration. Remember that you need to execute Pacman with sudo, as always. And now execute glmarch2 with this line. As you can see, we're using Virgil and the name of the Adreno GPU. In my case, here 650. Now, if you execute glmarch2 without that command, we are using LLM pipe. And this is the CPU. So this is how you can execute things with hardware acceleration. So I hope you like the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave a comment.